Hi, I'm Cliff Chang, and you're watching Not So Awesome Review. Monday, which means it's time for another not so awesome review. This week we are taking a look at Wonder Woman Volume 2 Guts by Brian Azarillo, Cliff Chang, and Tony Atkins. I think I pronounced those names right. Could be wrong, but let's get on with this book, which contains uh, issues number 7 through 12 of Wonder Woman. Uh, once again, just like all the other DC hardbacks, nothing special, just indented. Which kind of sucks. Uh, I don't like it that they do that, but you know what are you gonna do? Uh, so basically, the story is picking up where the last one ended, with Zola, the girl Zeus, who is now missing, uh, got pregnant, and uh, she's been taken by Hades. She's you know missing, and it's up to Wonder Woman and her, I guess, half brothers, the gods, to uh, help her. So. Yeah, she basically, she goes to, I forgot his name already. We we meet a new, I guess, family member uh, in the first issue who is trying to help her. Uh, and then we meet this guy, Hippocide, I can't pronounce his name even if I remembered it. Uh, who basically, she goes there to forge a weapon for her, you know, help her with weapons and stuff to go against Hades and try to get Zola back. Um... Pretty much the main gist a part of the story is them going to Hades, them going to through, I believe it was the River Six. I, I could be wrong. Uh, but basically, yeah, they go to Hades to try and get Zola back. They need to, you know, hold well, they need to get her back. They make a deal. Uh, it, get, it gets pretty good. It gets really good. I don't want to speak too much about this thing. Let me go to the back and show. Okay, I can't show that page, but I can show here uh, concept art and stuff that is in with the book. Um, so the art is freaking awesome, by the way. No, no, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> not being biased or anything here right now. Um, but the story is really good. I really did enjoy this. I read this in like maybe two sittings. Probably could have done one, but. Uh, I like to take breaks between reading, so I feel like it lasts longer. Um, definitely, if I can get the angle, I really like that shot right there. It looks great if it focuses. I don't know, it just some really nice art, especially when uh, Wonder Woman is in, uh, I guess, hell with Hades. Something happens there, it gets really good, really good. Um... See if I can find an other awesome shot just to show you guys before we finish this. I know it's not the best review ever. <laughs> That's why it's a not so awesome review. Love the cover art. So yeah, the story, they're going to Hades to go get Zola. Uh, That's pretty much the first half of this book. The second half involves more of Apollo and uh, Hera. Names, can't remember them. And uh, it ends with a really kind of big um, change. I, I guess that's the big, bit, best way I can say it. There's a big change near, at the end of this issue. It uh, looks like it's going to change the rest of the, not series, but you know, it's going to do some really big ramifications, which I'm really interested in reading in the next volume, which I have not gotten yet, but I am definitely planning on it. You know, volume four is out. Uh, the series, it's still going. So definitely worth the time reading if you read volume one you should continue on because it is really it is really well written it's drawn really good like i said they're just looking for zola and that's the best like i want to say more of what happens in the story but that's the best i can do without spoiling too much of what's going on there uh the parts with hades and wonder woman are like my it's like my favorite thing of the whole series so far i want to say so yeah, although this is a short uh, Not So Awesome review, it is definitely a good book. I'll give it a, let's say, four and a half out of five, which I don't know I'm gonna, how I'm going to do the half, but four and a half out of five scrolls because it was really, really good. Uh, definitely my favorite one so far. We'll see if Valium Drew gets better. And 
yeah, if you're wondering why it's not a full five, it's probably just because it's it's really good, but it's not, you know, and I wouldn't qualify it as perfect. I don't, you know, I think I'm saving the five star ratings or the five scroll ratings for like the things that I'm like, no matter what, you must read this. Um, but it's definitely a a good read. So it may not be one of my top ten must read books of all time. But it's definitely something I will recommend to people. And I definitely recommend it to anybody who's watching this. If you're watching the review for Volume 2. It means you probably already read Volume 1. So stop watching. Get this. But before you do, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And all that cool stuff. And I will see you guys next time with another Not So Awesome review. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hey, look. You reached the end slate. Uh, yeah, probably not my best review. But uh, I say that like on all of my reviews. So... There's that. Uh, anyways, um, you know, I hope you guys liked the video, I guess. Um, annotations down below for stuff I did at WonderCon. Yay! So basically this whole week you'll probably see WonderCon things. Uh, mini interview with Jason Font and Kelly Sue DeConnick and Mark Wade. All three goes down there. Plus my WonderCon 2014 pickup video is also up. If you guys want to check that out. Anyways, uh, really not much else to say right now, so if you guys enjoyed the video, enjoy Wonder Woman and everything, uh, don't forget to comment if you want, want to leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe, and all that cool stuff, and I will see you guys later, thanks for watching, goodbye.